But we begin tonight with the out-of-state arrest that took down a suspected bank robber from Macomb Township. Good evening and welcome to 7 Action News at 11. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Dave Llewellyn. We are blurring his face because he is not officially charged yet. But police say they caught 18-year-old Jacob Edwards in Vermilion County, Illinois, where he was shot by a sheriff's deputy. Tonight, 7 Action News reporter Alex Bozargian is following the trail of trouble that began three days ago with the robbery in New Baltimore. I was expecting another one of our daughters to come home and I heard the ring cameras go off. Stephen Noyes has five daughters and clearly this isn't one of them. Turns out the man caught on their ring camera matched the description of a fugitive who was believed to be armed. Did you recognize who it was? No, I did not know that there was any robbery that took place. Um, but my wife immediately posted it to the Ring app and it had about 2,000 views in a matter of five minutes. According to New Baltimore Police, 18-year-old Jacob Edwards robbed this Huntington Bank on Tuesday, hours before he was caught on the noises Ring camera. It was scary because I knew I wasn't home. Uh, I called my neighbor across the street to come check on the house in the area. Um, the cops came out with the dogs. They searched the area, but Edwards was nowhere to be found. Two days later, Tippecanoe County deputies say Edwards was spotted in Indiana. He allegedly assaulted a person and stole their truck. Were you kind of on edge after that? Because obviously he was on the run and no one knew where he was. Yeah, it was on edge because it hit so close to home. Edwards was later found in Illinois with the stolen truck. A lot of people say he had friends helping him and people posting he was in different areas. And just until it was confirmed that he was actually caught, I wasn't going to believe it. FBI Springfield tweeted that the Vermilion County Sheriff's Office arrested Jacob Edwards Friday afternoon. He was reportedly shot by a deputy during the confrontation, but is expected to be okay. You know, hopefully gets help if he needs it, and you know, that's that's hopefully that's what takes place. Noy says once Edwards was identified, his daughter realized they were classmates at Dakota High School. As far as she knew, he was like a 4.0 student, um, always a, a very good student, and. She said it was just a uh, kind of a loner, I guess. We did find out where Edwards' mom lives and she was home. We knocked on the door, but she didn't come out. In New Baltimore, I'm Alex Bozargian for 7 Action News. All right.